Hey everybody, Kit Cummings, Power of Peace Studios. Thanks for stopping by here on our show, The Power of Peace Project. We tackle issues that steal people's peace. Peace is what we seek, it's what everybody wants. Here, we figure out how to get it, how to keep it. Tune in. crazy dream, but they found the joy and giving, and they found their strength together. Who would have known? Peace was on the move. Hey everybody, welcome to The Power of Peace. This week we're going to be tackling issues with grown folks and teens. Generation Z is what we call them. There's a lot of talk about this generation. They're different. The way that they are entertained, the way that they engage and connect, the way that they communicate, the modes that they like to use to get their information. And they're the first generation that's grown up uh, where we've always been at war their whole life. Technology raised a lot of them because it was easier for parents not to have to babysit, but put, you know, put YouTube in front of them or whatever. They're the first generation that's grown up with every kid gets a trophy and we're not going to play dodgeball because we're afraid somebody's going to get hurt. Um, there, a lot of them have been medicated um, since childhood. Some absolutely need it, but it's their pill culture. Um, the food they're eating is trash, fast foods, and, uh, and it's, it's affecting their brains and their metabolism and everything. Technology affects their sleep. They're stretched more. They have to make A's. They think they have to go to college. So what's happening is when they get into high school and college and, and mid-20s, they haven't really learned how to fail. And their anxiety and depression, you wouldn't believe it. Many of them have considered suicide. This is just the, the world we live in. Um, they're the first generation that's grown up with every type of porn in their pocket, and yet they're not supposed to look. And uh, they're medicating, you know, with vapes. I mean, we've got a, a nicotine epidemic getting ready to head to colleges with full-blown nicotine addicts that didn't use to smoke. And so I'm not trying to depress everybody. I'm just saying this generation is different. And as grown folks, parents, teachers, coaches, preachers, we need to understand that they do not learn like we do. And they have not um, been raised like we were. So if we practice the same principles with them that we were parented with, like restriction, that worked for me because it was like a daggum being sent to isolation, to the hole. Didn't have any entertainment, it was crazy. We didn't like to sleep, we liked to be playing outside. This generation loves a break, loves a big fat nap, and they don't mind being cooped up, you know? So if, if our best move is to take away, take away their phone, okay, that might be effective, but we're losing connection with them. So I wanted to give a good setup to this one, and I'm gonna offer five principles this week about how to connect with this generation. And this isn't something I read in a book, but I have studied a lot about it. These are things that I'm practicing in the schools with these kids, and they are responding. So the first one, very quickly, is ask more questions. This generation needs to feel like they are heard. They need to feel like they have a voice. They want somebody to listen to them, and they want things quick. They want to think that it's their idea. Now, those are things that all of us feel, but this generation, man, they consume things fast. They get information fast. And so a lot of them feel like they're just being talked down to and not listening, uh, listened to, but they also feel like um, that our generation is haters and hypocrites and that we're banging away on them about what not to do and consequences, but we're do struggling with a lot of the same things with social media or entertainment or whatever it is. Ask more questions, and I, I recommend this as we close this one. Ask a question, really listen. Ask another question, really listen. Ask a third question until they feel like they have expressed themselves, and then go into step two, which we're going to tackle tomorrow. So try it today. Ask a lot of questions and be sincerely interested in your teen, and you're going to have to win them over if this hadn't been happening. And I'm not talking about interrogating questions. I'm talking about, I want to know your world kind of questions. Tell me about your music. Tell me about your games. But you've got to be sincerely wanting to keep crawling into their world if we are going to win their trust. So we're all in this battle together. I love teens, Generation Z. I'm their champion, but we all have to rally around them. See you tomorrow. We'll tackle step two. Be the change you wish to see in the world today. Peace.
Thanks again for stopping by Kit Cummings Power Peace Studio. If this helped you in any way, make a move because we don't do things tomorrow, we do them today. Subscribe it, like it, share it, make a comment. We want to hear what you think. But continue to stop by and spread the good news. Until we see you again, be the change you wish to see in the world. Peace. Peace